Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Pre-Market Report sponsored by Delta.Exchange and Tradex.Live. Iran-Israel warfare seems to be receding, but uh, U.S. problem is getting more and more. Uh, the U.S. interest rate fear is going, you know, the, as per some report, there may not be any uh, rate cut in U.S. for the entire year. So, U.S. markets are pessimistic and Dow has fallen 7 out of last 8 trading sessions. S&P 500 fell for 4 continuous trading sessions. However, right now there is some kind of uh, positivity in uh, futures, but that is because of the global queues. When they open and they may fall. Asian markets are mixed and some markets are higher and GIF Nifty indicating about a 50-60 point gap down, but yesterday night it was very, very bad. And uh, we, our market also, it has already fallen for three con consecutive trading sessions and Nifty has already fallen more than 600 points. And if today gap down and if it closes negative, then today here also it will be fourth straight day of a fall. But we have to wait, but today we do not know. We may open negative, but we may close positive, who knows. Uh, there are few positives. Number one, uh, the crude oil prices have fallen by about 3%. So that is a positive uh, good news for Indian markets because we are heavily import, uh, they depend on the import of crude oil. So that is one thing. Second thing, we have already fallen for three straight days. Okay, and then usually when a material news comes like Mauritius tax treaty, uh, usually markets fall, you know, very big for three days. Then after that it stabilizes and sometimes, you know, some technical bounce can also happen. And third thing is that, you know, uh, today the markets will be reacting, you know, uh, Infosys results will be coming after the market hours, but, you know, oh, the people may not like to carry short positions and that is already uh, seems to be a little bit oversold. So, there is a possibility there may be some kind of a short covering in Infosys towards the end of the day. So, in fact, TCS has more weightage in uh, Nifty than TCS. So, since TCS has come out with a decent result, there is a possibility Infosys can also come out with a decent uh, result. So, therefore, there may be some short covering. And fourth, uh, in US markets yesterday, though US markets fell, actually both uh, HDFC Bank ADR and ICC Bank ADR, both ADRs were higher yesterday. So that was uh, something surprising. And then, you know, generally ahead of the bigger results, people may not like to carry positions. If they are in profit, they will book the profit. If short sellers are in profit, they will book the profit that will, you know, uh, trigger some kind of a short covering. Uh, because, you know, today Bajaj Auto, Infosys, uh, Saturday uh, HDFC Bank and Monday Reliance. So, I think put together, you know, these stocks will have about uh, like 28-30 percent weightage in Nifty. So, therefore, you know, uh, corporate results, you know, so may bring some kind of volatility, some kind of a short covering, you know. So, at least, you know, the market should not be falling from here, okay. So, these are all some of the good news, but however, the bad news continues, you know, uh, US markets are like, you know, they are falling like anything, right. So, definitely, the markets will be uh, volatile, you know, it is not going to be a one-way move. In fact, last three trading sessions, we have seen that, you know, uh, but clearly, you know, markets are not in a mood to move higher and as I said, bulls must be happy if the 22,000 held on the downside, okay, even that is also, you know, looking, you know, very weak now. So, again, you know, back to square 22,000 to 22,500 and incidentally, uh, 22,500 has the uh, second highest open interest, okay. Uh, the first highest open interest is 23,000, but that is because people are buying the 23,000 call for hedging purpose. Uh, so, those who are selling to reduce the margin money, they buy. So, therefore, you know, uh, ever since this uh, margin benefit came, uh, rule came by SEBI, uh, the highest open interest is not actually the technical indicator, 
that is the indicator where people are buying for hedging. So therefore clearly 22,500 is a resistance and US markets have to recover. US markets also, uh, the technology stocks, they are coming out with results, results next week. I think Google, Apple, uh, Netflix, I think Netflix is coming today. So a few of uh, technology stocks, results is in begin. So US markets will also be highly volatile for the next one week. So anyway, uh, from now uh, till the end of next week, it's, it's going to be a roller coaster ride, okay. Uh, like, you know, as I told you many times, uh, professional options traders, they don't carry positions into the last week. They just move to the options to the next month so that the premium will be high. The break even will also be high. Uh, speculators, of course, if you are taking some view, okay. So yesterday, you know, on, on Thursday, oh, sorry, uh, Wednesday, uh, 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 yesterday was a holiday. Uh, sorry, uh, the last trading day was a Tuesday. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Wednesday was a holiday. Today is a Thursday. So uh, today, one day to expiry on Tuesday. Uh, Nifty was trading around uh, 22,150, right? And uh, 250 point up and down. 22,400 call was also trading around 10 rupees. 21,900 put was also trading around uh, 10 rupees. So people, you know, who are taking very, very short term view, they can do all these things. But people, you know, taking uh, positional trade, it's not a good idea to uh, trade in the current month options. Right. So uh, we will see how the results goes and how banking stocks and, uh, you know, as I told you, HDFC Bank and ACC Bank ideas are higher and Asian markets sentiment seems to be slightly better. So these banking stocks will be in focus. And then uh, on top of which, uh, Reliance uh, ahead of Monday result, uh, Bajaj Auto and uh, Infosys ahead of the results today. So these are some of the stocks will be in focus. Auto stocks will also be in focus because the crude oil has fallen about 3%. So overall, you know, it's going to be a consolidation, maybe with a negative bias, who knows, or maybe with positive bias also at the end of the day. So things are looking, you know, very, very uncertain at this point of time. So tomorrow is the first day of uh, polling in India. So if you are a Indian uh, citizen, so please cast your vote tomorrow. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.